Okay guys, so room tour. We have the bathroom, toilet, inflatable whale in the shower, and, uh, and a bath. And he's having a shower. He's having a shower, right back at you. So we have a, a double and a single bed. We've pushed them down because Riley sleeps up close against the cupboard and then he doesn't fall out because they are tiled floors. Um, we have Samsung TV, which you can stick uh, your Netflix in. Don't forget guys, you need to have an adapter for your charger. And then we use a multi-charger with a load of USBs. You have a fridge, kettle. There is a hairdryer in there. And we've been spoiled because we have a terrace. It's the first time we've ever had one of these. We haven't had one before. So this is our terrace. And then that looks out over to the pools just over the other side. The entertainment's just by here. There's a bar just by there. And the water park is just up by there. And that bus by there is what you catch to go to the beach. And if you look out over there, that's all the lucky lucky men selling all the goodies and bits and pieces. So this is the Marta shop just by here. Reception just up by there. That's the Saturno. Outside entertainment bar just over by there and kids bar where the yellow is just through the trees and then that's the terrace in the evening where they have entertainment that's the entertainment part one and then there's part two over the other side so you check in as you walk down this path and go into this building by here and that's the reception in here so this is reception so reception is just through by here if you want to see a jet to advisors they're over in the far corner there's a restaurant just around the corner by there the kids pool just out by there it gets quite busy in here but it's one of the only rooms with air conditioning so and that's where you check in with all your staff yeah, water fountains out there they shut them off once this week because it was so uh, hot the water got boiling so kids pool just in by there out there uh, one of the large outer pools just over by there the lake. I think the swans are 10 euros or three before 10. The train that goes around in the evenings. That's the fish that chew the skin off your feet. I don't know a better way of putting that pedicure thing, is it, or something? That's the outside arena where you have the other entertainment. And this is the burger bar just over by here where you can have burgers from about midday free. This was the pool that we were just looking at and if you do need the doctors or emergency medical there's one just up by there um, that take British insurance. These are the other boats that you can rent. I think these are electric and that can also take you around the lake. Uh, you will see snakes in the eels, different fish, ducks. There's a little fish under there. This is where the entertainment is in the night. We're just walking by here. I'm going to be honest, this is Mosquito Alley. There is so many mosquitoes in here, it's unreal. But that's the stage with the entertainment. The bar. And then obviously the seating area. But yeah, this is where the mozzies get you in the night. Make sure you bring plenty of repellent. So we'll go back. So looking over Jupiter, Marta, Satino. So the next section is going to be the kids' outdoor play pool, which I'm not going to video much because I'm on my own at the moment without Riley. But yeah, there's a dragon, um, an outside water park part of it. Um, again, we have been told. Oh, there's some ducks. We have been told that a lot of people have been getting bit over here by the splash park because of the mozzies and because you've run the trees and the grass on the lake. But yeah, that's it over there. Okay, there you go. You can see the dragons and the water splash park bit, so it's good for the kids. Lifeguard on there as well. But I'm walking around this lake and there's mozzies flying around me now, so I'm going to be quick. Now we're down the lower part of the lake. 
that's the kids bouncy castle part which you've got to pay extra or if you've got the premium wristbands these are the go-karts that you can hire so the kids are driving the beach jeeps around they drove them around this little lake at the bottom and there's mini golf down the bottom and a kids play area at the bottom by there um, you've also then got the train a massage area kids area where they're playing football at the moment and then walk back around it's a nice little walk around the lake it's a lot cooler today it's been really really hot all week so we've been looking at 36 38 um, this is August now so August the 18th is it the 18th uh, yeah um, so yeah really warm really really warm this week to be honest it's been a bit unbearable we've literally spent most of our days in the water park it's uh, I don't know if you if you haven't been to Club Mac before you're gonna love it and you'll really enjoy it if you've been to Club Mac before then I think you're gonna start to see some bit changes the food's not as good this year um, it's not as good as as many options um, we haven't been hearing the music like the Club Mac music has always been booming when we've been here and really gets you going and enjoying it it's been hardly any music playing all weekend all week um, but yeah I don't know a few bits and pieces that have changed this time we haven't been out and about as much because it's just been so hot it's just been a ball of sweat every time you've gone for a good walk or whatever so we've kind of stayed literally around the water park I will praise the water park up it is really good we love the water park it's been brilliant it's been our bit of a life saviour pools are nice and cool over there and it's just really really tidy so right that's my walk around Club Mac guys I uh, hope we've kind of covered everything. It's been a bit of a rush at the end of it, the holiday, because I haven't been out walking much, so I thought I'd come for a little walk this morning and have a show you around. Hope you've enjoyed it. If there's anything that I can uh, answer any questions, I'll try my best. I'll try and get a little couple of photos of the dining area and bits and pieces, uh, and I'll have a walk around to the other pools now, just around the other side of the hotel. So that's where the water fountains were. This is the little path walking down the side. We're going to walk over to the other bar and the other swimming pools. So, little kids' pool just by there. This is the Jupiter, and this is the largest restaurant. It goes all the way down the bottom of the floor of the Jupiter. Let's see what you see in there. So, pool tables, air hockey. Some seats downstairs parking if it's raining and you want to get out of the way arcades through there and then another bar over here so your drinks bar kids section adult section little kiddies plunge pool the bigger pool and then one over the far side these pools we think are heated they're a lot warmer than the other pools and plenty of sun loungers and undercover Okay guys, so quick catch up. There's Club Mac, up the road. There's the spa. Turn left to go up to Lidl's and to the beach, and turn right, and then the second left to go up to the strip. So this is the straight road at the end of the road to Club Mac. Straight up there is Lidl. And it's just on the left hand side if you need Lidl. Okay guys, so there's Aldi at the top of the road. There's the big roundabout. There's a kebab shop on the end by here, and there's also a Burger King. Okay guys, so, so, so you can get your bearings. Lidl, again by you on the left. Burger King over there on the right. If you walk down that way, that's the port. So it's about 10 minute walk down there, that's the port. If you walk down that road, just over by there, that's how you get to the beach. So there's Burger King. On this piece of ground opposite, it's like a waste piece of ground. There's either usually a fair or a circus or something going on every time we've been here anyway. So with Burger King on your right, I'm walking down this road. So that's the fair. Walking down this road will get you to the strip. If you keep walking all the way down, you'll come to a dead end. If you turn right, that's the strip. If you turn left, that's the beach. So just down from Burger King, 
there's your first pharmacy just on the corner of this building right here so if you look for the long canal which i'll try and show you now there's a long canal going up through there's a pharmacy just on the corner so we're still walking down this long road with the pharmacy that i told you it's a long ass road <laughs> but there's all cafes bars restaurants other hotels to have a look at um cycling rental shops spa you name it it's pretty much got it so uh, yeah it's not too much of a boring walk i think the whole loop around is around about three to four kilometers so this is the start of the main strip the beach is just down by there and then this is one long strip up to the top of the base of the mountain not sure if i'm going to get up here to show you there you go and this is where you see the bridge with the fish underneath and the famous um crep guy so here's all the little shops there's more lakes saltwater lakes as you walk up through and then that's the bridge just up by there and if you look off that either side you'll start to see big fish in the like canals there you can hire these electric scooters at the hotel if you don't want to walk and you want to have a scoot about but yeah plenty of little knickknack shops so, so just off to the right hand side here's the little pubs that i was telling you about so mucky omaris nobby's roses return all little bars and steakhouses so this is the little humpback bridge i was on about and if you get to the top of it look down in you'll see loads of fish and we're gonna go and have a drink in this little cafe by here Not quite sure if you can see him. So these people just by here are also YouTubers, the Flamingo family that we've watched on the watched on their channel. Them coming to Glamour. Morning. Morning. So guys, we've stopped off and had a nice cold drink at All Star, which is right by the bridge. Highly recommend it, quite cheap. What was it called? Seven euros, Seven euros for two Cokes and a uh, fruit shoot. It's quite warm. It's cloudy overcast day today, but and it's not as warm as it has been. So uh, we've been able to come out and have a, a nose about again. So this is your famous crepe shop. Just up from, there's the bridge. There's the cafe that we sat down and had our drink. And then that is your famous crepe one with the guy who does the crepes that's all over YouTube and the lovely ice creams and rich pieces. Sadly it's uh, froze this morning, but uh, yeah, some lovely uh, ice creams in there. So you might remember if you've watched our other vlog, Uncle Lukey, he went on a horse like this, so Riley wanted to go. Once you come to this pharmacy at the top end of the strip and the steakhouse, if you turn right, the pub on the very far end is the Jolly Roger, and that's the lake heading towards back towards the hotel. So this is the Jolly Roger pub. It's got a swimming pool and does good food. Look at you see all these planes up in the skies. Everyone's going back off home. It's very busy in the sky today. Uh, the people we've seen kayaking in the one canal has now come out in one of the lakes. They must be boiling. So these two are racing. They're like kneel down kayaks. 
and the coaches just by here. That's the lake, and that's the road, and that's the map for the. So that's Jupiter, that's Marta, and then Saturno's further down, Sullivan's Bar just opposite, and the Queens. So we're back home, and I said I was going to do a bit of a review at the end of it, and this is it basically. So Jet 2, highly recommend Jet 2, they were fabulous. Really, really good, really looked after us. Um, so many staff there, everything you needed if you had a question, they were there to help. Um, they made Riley feel really good, uh, helped letting him do with the luggage and all the bits and pieces. And um, yeah, felt really, really, really good company. Highly recommend. If we go away again, I'll use Jet2. Um, now for the hotel. So the hotel was good, everything was okay. The food wasn't brilliant. Everyone always slags the food off. I can't slag it off, I just don't think there's enough options now um there used to be loads of different options and food that we liked and now it's all going very uh mushy kind of different foods that we hadn't seen before um so overall the food wasn't brilliant um as i said when we were there the entertainment uh, it's very karaoke it's not brilliant it's not the best don't go to thinking you're gonna have massive great entertainment all day every day um, we didn't hear the Club Mac songs all that often either. They were, I think, once or twice it ha they came on and then it was really, really quiet after that. Um, cleanliness of the hotel, immaculate, really, really good. Um, heat did affect us. The 36 degrees most days up to 38 um, and it was boiling. It was scorching. You couldn't walk around and stuff. Me and Riley are both kind of ginger and um, yeah, the heat really affected us quite badly over there. We had to literally live in the water park, which we didn't mind. We loved it. It was a real chilled out weekend and um, we found that when you went over to the water park, you could pay €4.50 Euros 50 for the day for um, a deck chair, sun lounger. So we were just doing that. We were basically hiring our deck chairs for the day, um, having hot dogs and bits and pieces that you have to pay for in the water park. You don't get it free over there. Um, overall... If you haven't been to Club Mac, I think you'll really enjoy it. If you've been to Club Mac a couple of times, then I think you'll start to see things fading off slightly and not as good as it used to be. Um, but don't let it put you off because you will still have a fabulous holiday over there. Um, check your um, excursions and bits and pieces to get from the airport to the hotel. Um, I was, was through Jet 2, which we have put a complaint in um, because it was just appalling. There was no air conditioning. Uh, it took nearly two hours to get from the airport around all these other hotels to our airport, uh, to our hotel. Um, it wasn't brilliant, so uh, but we're looking into that. That was the only thing with Jet2 was the transfers, which I'm guessing they subletted them out. So um, if there's any questions I can answer, please just drop us a comment in the thing. I'll try and answer them as best as I can. Um, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe. We do try our best to do some good videos and different reviews on places that we go. It's not always holidays and hotels. It's also festivals and campervan shows. Um, but yeah, hit the subscribe button and uh, don't miss out on other adventures that we have. Thanks for watching. Um, hope we have covered the bit stuff that you need. And if we haven't, like I said, just get in touch. Thanks a lot, guys.